Alright, so here we go. I got the, my Sega prize figures. So I've got a I've got an Arcoid here from uh ooh, what was it? Carnival Phantasm. Yes, a little comedy of type moon characters. So she's from the beach uh, the volleyball. She's from the beach volleyball. Yeah, that's because she has the volleyball in her hand. So that's from the volleyball episode. It's uh, hilarious. You should watch it. And then this is a uh, Misaka from uh, Tu Aru Kagaku no Railgun. Or uh, a certain scientific railgun. I just call it railgun. She is the railgun. And she's got this nice little box. It's got a little, uh, it's got a little, um, what is it? Um, it's got like a swimming pool. And uh, it's got a little electrical bolt going through it. I wouldn't want to be swimming in that pool. So, alright, so I got these two figures for, oh, I got one figure for like 15 bucks. Yeah, they're about 15 bucks. They're really cheap. And these are there by Sega. So, uh, alright, we'll go through each one. So I'm going to start with the Misaka first. So here's the box. Let me put it on my little turntable here. Spin it around for you. Okay. Uh, like I said, it has a there's an instruction manuals right here. Uh, there's actually I guess there's a companion figure, the Kuroko. You don't really. I think this is from some episode where they were uh, cleaning the pool or something, so that's why. There it is. So let's take her out. I guess I won't need this no more. So I believe this is a brand new figure. So let's see how they package it. Uh, so the, the box, the Sega box is not... Uh, okay, there's tape here too. And probably one on the other side. Yeah, the box really isn't that nice. That's all, I guess you could display it in the box. As long as it's got a window, I suppose you can display it. It's got some interesting packaging. It's not a traditional clamshell type. It's the box I'll put in the back here. It just has this little uh, this little piece of plastic holding it in the front and uh, I'll go on by the tape. Oh, I think I think that'll do it. This will come out like so, and there she is, Misaka, level 5 Electromaster, and she's got a little broom dealy here, let's put her, put her down here, and there's a stand, a stand is, okay, there's another piece of plastic, the stand comes right out, alright, let's discard that. So, wow, we, I've never seen pegs this big for such a figure this size. Uh, honestly, I do not know what size this is. It doesn't say. So, I think, I think she goes like this because she blocked the lettering. So. And shaplam, there she goes. And she's got this broom. Oh, let me see which way this goes. Does it go the other way or? Oh, look at this. Refer to the instruction manual here. All right, so it uh, I guess it goes from over here. I guess it's better to do this before you put her on it. But this is pretty flexible. Hopefully, I don't break it. Yeah, I can't seem to get it in there. There we go. There we go. So, there you go. You can get it on there. I guess you can adjust the height any way you want. I guess that's fine. That'll work. So, there she is. Sega prize figure, Misaka. Now, I bought this one because I, I, I don't know, it's something that appeals to me, these uh, sport, sport swimsuits. Uh, but this is actually the school swimsuit for their, their school. I forgot what their school name was. Oh. I'll put it in I'll put it in the caption later but yeah this is their school swimsuit 
I think it's very nice. It's a, uh, it's like those sports swimsuits. Let me go put her on a rotating base here. All right, there she is. So, I mean, the skin parts look good, but I'll tell you now, this swimsuit is not really all that. They did get on the dark painting, like, oh, there's a little, just like a, like a, they missed a spot on her butt. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't. Yeah, like, like right around here-ish. Oh, right around here-ish is a, like, there's a little spot. And you can see the, the bathing suit, the lines, the white parts are not very good. So you can tell her swimsuit, um, it's kind of smudgy, the lines. And, uh, you know, this little line isn't very straight. And it's not in the lines, again. The, and it's kind of like some, like, dirt or some, some blue paint right here. under boobly area <laughs> so uh, yeah while I do like this swimsuit it is actually the worst part of the figure Sadly. but for for the price she's good I'm not complaining the base does it says uh has the railgun logo on it that's cool it's kind of like a clear, transparent base. So, I think for the money, I like if you can get her for under like thirty dollars, even like twenty dollars, I'd say it's a good deal. It this doesn't look too bad from a distance, but uh, and like I like I, like I said, I like their school swimsuit so. <laughs> Let's go take a look at uh so uh there she is arcade from a uh, carnival phantasm she is a Tsukihime character it's made by sega and it's a type moon figure like i said i do not know what the scale is uh, perhaps it will say on the bottom nope or the top nope okay i i if i were to guess she'd be around like a 110 around 110 or 19 something like that uh, we'll have to compare to one of the beach queen figures at the end so there she is let's go open her up the box is nice I kinda like it more than the the Misaka box maybe not all Sega prize figures are created alike Bottom one. No. So much tape. Well, for some reason, the tape looks really dirty too. All right. Oh yeah. All right. Here we go. Somewhat stubborn moss. All right. There she is. So just like the, it's just like the Misaka figure. It's got this little piece of plastic clamshell holding it in and I'm sure uh, it's got a tape on the sides. Oh, whoa, there she goes. She comes right out. I don't think this packaging is the best. Oh, this is kind of a cool uh, base. It's a beach base. It's like, kind of like the seashore type dealy. Okay. So that's it. Um, she, uh, no, not much assembly required. I think she goes like this. It's either that or it's like, uh, I guess it's like this. I guess we're taking a picture from the water. <sighs> I honestly don't know which one goes where. I guess it doesn't matter, huh? Alright, oh, let's go like, oh, that one doesn't go in. Yeah, I think it's this way. Looks like the paint is already rubbing off too. So I mean, hey, these are these are the cheapest figures I got, beach figures that I got. So.
This is a beach figure. This particular scene was taken at the beach. I like the base. The base is cool. And uh, yeah, the Arclade figure is nice. I like her face. I like her hair. The paint is better on this one, slightly. Yeah, the paint is all in the lines. That's not bad. It's actually a pretty good figure. Like the even the volleyball. Look at the volleyball. I can see there's a little, there's a little imperfection, like right here somewhere. It's no biggie. Look at her sandals. Yeah, look at her sandals. Nice detail. Even her, uh, even her toenails are done. Okay, I don't know. I think that's the best uh, I can get it to focus. But yeah, you can see her toes. They're all been painted. I guess she's uh, she's wearing some nail polish. She's wearing some sandals. Very good. This is a lot better quality than the Misako figure. And look at her, she looks so happy. <laughs> Uh, her skin's a little on the shiny side, but uh, I can't complain for how much I paid for her. I think she was like $15 only. Um, yeah, so like, look at now, her like butt crack is. There's like a mold line going down the bikini bottom. It's It's hard to see on this guy, but... Okay. So you can see like where her butt is, it um there's like a mold line going through there. That's uh and it's really you can really really tell because it's wider than the rest of it. So other than that, looks good. I like it. Well for uh the Sega price figures are good. Um they're just uh it's not the same quality of the Beach Queens, that's for sure.